So the principles of light. When someone describes light, looking at a portrait, looking at someone's face, they're usually describing light in about three ways. The first one is the intensity or quantity of light. How bright is that light? And when we were using our flash meter there, it was telling us how bright the light was. But how bright is it? And if there's two lights on the subject, what are the ratios? Is, is one brighter than the other? How much brighter? So that's one way someone could describe light. But the next way that people typically describe light is going to be the direction of light. Where is that light coming from? What type of shadows is it casting on the face? How is it sculpting the face? And then lastly is going to be the quality of light. Is it hard? Is it soft? What type of feel does that light achieve? So when I'm describing light, I'm thinking of all of those things. I'm thinking of how strong is it? What direction is it coming from? What qualities does it have? And so when you understand each of those things, it, and, and how you can achieve changes in those three elements, it's going to give you the ability to create any light that you want and so many drastically different lighting setups. So let me just expand on that and just kind of reiterate it. The intensity of light is how much light, including ratios between multiple lights. The direction of light would be, is it flat? Or maybe it's directional. Flat light would be lower and more centered, minimal shadows. Directional would be higher, further off to the side, lots of shadows. Both are right, but totally different effects. And then the quality, is it hard, is it soft, is it in between? So let's look at each of these essentials of light and what they mean in an illustration. Again, this is my assistant Raquel, so intensity of light. Looking at the photos here, for example, on the left, there's a ratio where that backlight is bright and the front light is, is pretty dim. The background is going to be stronger, whereas the qu quantity of light, the intensity of light on the right-hand side is just dim in general. So like, there's just different amounts of light in these photographs. But then direction of light. Picture on the left is going to be much more flat light. And flat light is, uh, you can indicate it or you can see it by minimal shadows. Not many shadows under her nose, not many shadows cast on the side of her face. It's relatively flat, not much dimension to it. But on the extreme opposite end, on the right-hand side, this is very directional light with long shadows cast by her nose. A lot more drama. So this is what I would be talking about if I were talking about direction of light. The first one was intensity, how much light, ratios of light. Then the next one is direction. Where is it coming from? How much shadow? And then lastly is going to be that quality of light. Is the light soft or is it hard light? Is it have gradual shadows or really crisp defined shadows? And that's what I'm looking at in this instance. On the left, look at the shadow of her nose. The shadow of her nose fades off gradually. It's not a deep shadow. It goes from light on the side of her face and fades off slowly to darkness. Whereas on the right hand side, that line of the shadow is crisp. It goes from highlight to shadow very immediately, very crisp. And so that is going to be a much harder edge. So that's what you're really looking for in hard versus soft light. What is the edge, the transition between highlight and shadow? If it's a harsh transition, it's harder light. If it's a gradual transition, it's softer light. And so these three slides that I just talked about, take a look at them over and over again. And so as you look at portraits that you like or look in a magazine, you can look at it and say, okay, so that light is flat. The direction of light is frontal. You can see by maybe minimal shadows. Oh, and then that, that's really gradual fade from highlight to shadow, so it's also soft light. You can start to describe the light you see. And then when you can describe it, you can start to understand where the light needs to be placed and the type of modifier that needs to be used to be able to achieve that light.